Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired. Today, I'm going to recap a 2014 action thriller film called Redeemer. A quick warning, there will be major spoilers ahead. The film Redeemer tells the story of Nicky Pardo, a religious man who visits the church regularly. However, one day when Pardo entered the church, he saw something strange. From a distance, he saw a panicked person hiding something in one of the flower pots in the church. Feeling suspicious, Pardo followed the man to the harbor. There he saw the man being accosted by four other men looking for a bag filled with money. They then interrogated, ganged up, and several times immersed the poor man in the water on the seashore. Even though he was almost beaten to death, the man still admitted that he didn't know anything about the bag. Failing to get the information, the four men left him. Pardo then approached the man who turned out to be Augustin. Pardo also took the initiative to help him. Augustin asked Pardo to take him to his friend, Antonia's house. Arriving at their destination, Antonia opened the door and invited them in. Seeing Augustin's poor condition, Antonia told her son to go to his aunt's house. In fact, her son was sick and needed surgery to recover. However, she was forced to send her son away to protect him. She didn't want someone looking for Augustin to come to her house one day and hurt her son. Meanwhile, Pardo got curious and asked about Augustin's request while praying at the church. Augustin replied that he just wanted the people who beat him to leave and not disturb him, so that he could work in peace. Pardo thought for a while before leaving home. Arriving at the house, Pardo performs a ritual by turning the bullet holes of his gun like Russian roulette. He filled one hole with a bullet while the other five were left empty. He then fired the gun once to his head. If he is still given a chance to live, it means that he is still given the opportunity to become a penance by eradicating the evil around him. However, if he died, then his mission would be over. Because of that, he got the nickname the Redeemer. One afternoon, Pardo came to the harbor and challenged the four men who had beaten Augustin the other day. Augustin also watched Pardo from a distance with fear. The fight is inevitable. Using a small knife tucked on his finger, Pardo easily slashed the necks of his opponents. Even one of his enemies had his head crushed because he was hit by the propeller of a boat engine that's still running. After overthrowing his opponents, Pardo took their belongings and donated them to the church. When Pardo walked towards Antonia's house, he saw a lot of armed men milling about near the highway. He also increased his vigilance, even though they ignored him, indicating that Pardo was not the person they were looking for. Arriving at Antonia's house, Augustin begged Pardo to protect him from the gunman. It turned out that the bag containing the money that Augustin threw away a few days ago was owned by a drug dealer boss. Pardo was willing to help Augustine as long as the money was returned to its true owner. Augustin agreed to his proposal. In order to avoid drug dealer gangs, Pardo then took Augustin and Antonia in his car to hide in a cave on a deserted beach. After that, Pardo ventured into a drug dealer gang. He made an offer to tell them the location of the bag they were after. However, he asked for one condition, that they have to leave the city after getting the bag. Their leader, Piedra, did not immediately believe it. He wanted to first check the truth of Pardo's story. At gunpoint, Pardo informs them that the bag they are looking for is hidden in a church. Accompanied by his men, Piedra went straight to the church. However, after Piedra's men searched every corner, they did not find the bag. Annoyed, Piedra called his men who were guarding the place where Pardo was being held. He ordered his men to kill Pardo for lying. However, before that happens, Pardo attacks Piedra's men and engages in a fistfight. Alone, he fought against many of Piedra's henchmen who wielded weapons. Luckily, Pardo managed to win the fight and kill them all. Not long after, Piedra returned home. How surprised he was to see all his men killed. He immediately went to his boss, Steve Braddock, to report the incident. It turns out Steve is the owner of that bag. After slaughtering Piedra's men, Pardo goes to the cave to meet Augustin and Antonia, who are apparently busy counting money. Although initially shocked at the sight before him, Pardo soon realized that the bag that Piedra was looking for had been taken back by Augustin, so that Antonia could treat his son. Pardo then tried to snatch the bag. However, Antonia tries to stop him, begging Pardo to let her have the money. Pardo ignored it. 
he still intends to return the money to Piedra. In the middle of the trip, he became indecisive. He remembered the past with his wife and children. He stopped the car on the side of the road to think. In the end, he returned to the cave and returned the money to Antonia and Augustine. Still in the cave, he again carried out his unique ritual by playing Russian roulette. Luckily, the shot that erupted was empty, so he survived. Sometime later, Pardo began to oversee the illegal activities of drug dealer gangs. He observed the ins and outs of the organization's activities, until one day he trailed a car that took him to a drug factory. From a distance, he continued to spy on the activities taking place there. After the car he had previously followed left the factory, he got into his car and followed. Unexpectedly, it turned out that he had fallen into a trap. His reconnaissance was discovered. While crossing a road that leads to a warehouse, Pardo's car is fired upon. Here he fights with a member of a drug gang. His opponent was quite tough, so Pardo had a hard time fighting him. However, he was finally able to overthrow his opponent, who died after being hit by Pardo's deadly kick. That night, he returned to the cave to rest. There, Antonia came and invited him to talk. When Antonia touched his back, he immediately remembered the past memories with his wife. In the past, Pardo was kidnapped with his pregnant wife. At that time, Pardo's wife was tortured and scream in pain by a man named Alacran, who had the nickname Scorpio. The man gouged the contents of his pregnant wife's stomach in front of him. Alacran gives Pardo the choice of ending his wife's life or seeing her tortured to death. Pardo could not do anything because at that moment, he too was in a state of bondage. Under threat of a gun, he was given a gun that was pointed at his wife's body. In a pinch and not wanting to see his wife tormented any longer, he was forced to shoot her. Back to the present, Pardo is seen driving his car to return to the drug dealer's headquarters. While in the hiding cave, Augustine tried to take his boat that was moored at the edge of the harbor by diving to the shore. He intends to use the boat to escape from the city. Unfortunately, when he managed to get into his boat, he was caught by Alacran's men. He went back to dive to return to the cave. But unfortunately, it turns out that Alacran was waiting for him near the cave. At the same time, Pardo walks with a gun to attack a drug factory. He shot at the guard standing at the gate and bravely entered the factory. The gunfight ensued fiercely. Arriving in a room, he met one of the guards and fought with his bare hands. His opponent was successfully overthrown after receiving repeated blows. Then Pardo headed upstairs where the mafia boss's office was. The room looked messy, and on the floor were scattered bullets. He approached a chair where the mafia boss was sitting. He was suspicious because the boss didn't move and sat stiffly. However, before he checked the mob boss, Alacran suddenly hit him very hard from behind. Pardo, who lost consciousness, was then taken away. When he fainted, Pardo remembered his past where he saw the shadow of Alacran, who was his greatest enemy at that time. In the past, Pardo had a forbidden job, he was an assassin. At that time, he was hired to kill Alacran in his home. However, because Alacran was difficult to beat, Pardo made a mistake. During the fight, suddenly Alacran's son came out of his room running, just as Pardo fired his gun. The bullet he fired hit Alacran's son. Seeing his only son whom he loved so dearly died in front of his eyes, Alacran got furious. He holds a grudge against Pardo. When Pardo awoke, he found himself in front of the church by the beach. He woke up just as Alacran fired the gun. He saw Augustine and Antonia sitting in fear not far from where he was lying. Alacran throws a gun at Augustine and tells him to shoot himself in the head. Antonia screamed in terror, so Alacran shot one of her legs. When Alacran was off guard, Augustine tried to aim the gun he had just taken out to fire at Alacran. However, Alacran noticed it immediately, and with a lightning-fast motion, he shot Augustine in the head. Then, Alacran asked Antonia to take the gun Augustine was holding. He threatened Antonia to shoot herself in the head. With fear and trembling hands, Antonia obeyed Alacran's orders. She pointed the gun at her own head. Meanwhile, seeing the chaos that was presented in front of him made Pardo think of his wife. With the little courage remaining, Antonia suddenly pointed the gun she was holding at Alacran. 
and at the same time Pardo kicked the gun held by Alacran until it was thrown far away. Pardo and Alacran then fight one-on-one -on -one with their bare hands in front of the church. Their fight is balanced because both have good fighting skills. Kicks and punches from both sides. And after some time, finally, Parna was able to overthrow Alacran. Alacran was still alive despite being helpless. However, Pardo decided not to kill him. At the end of the film, Pardo advises Alacran to repent and follow his example in fighting crime. If he dies, Alacran can meet his son in heaven. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. You should watch the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more video like this.